a mosquito-free Maldives is now possible. Here's how. Imagine a Maldives without mosquitoes. This no longer needs to be a dream. It is fast becoming a reality. In the past 15 months, the mosquito population at Soneva Fushi in the Bar Etol has collapsed by 98%. Over the same period, we stopped all chemical fogging. How did we make the seemingly impossible possible? The answer is a revolutionary integrated approach to mosquito control, using traps instead of chemical fogging. 500 mosquito traps have been placed all over Soneva Fushi. The traps, developed by the German company Biogens, come in two types. One type of trap targets Asian tiger mosquitoes that have bitten someone and are searching for a place to lay eggs. A second trap attracts mosquitoes searching for blood by using a combination of carbon dioxide and lactic acid to make an irresistible aroma mosquitoes mistake for a human. In addition to the traps, Soneva's mosquito hunters, Bart Knowles and Akib Jahir, scour the island removing pools of stagnant water where mosquitoes lay their eggs. Often found in tarpaulins, coconut shells or flower pot sources. In the next few months, Soneva Fushi hopes to eliminate the few remaining mosquitoes and declare itself the Maldives' first mosquito-free island. We've managed to do this without using chemical fogging. That's because there's a dirty little secret about mosquito fogging that nobody in the pest control industry that provides fogging services wants to talk about. Fogging doesn't really work. Chemical fogging has been done so much in the Maldives over the past decades that mosquitoes have built up an extraordinary level of resistance to the chemicals used. In fact, most insecticides kill less than 25% of the exposed mosquitoes. The other advantage to managing mosquitoes without using poisonous chemicals is that biodiversity on the island is booming. So Never Fushi now teams with the native Maldivian insects, such as butterflies, dragonflies, bumblebees, and beetles. Since natural pollinators such as bees have come back in abundance, we've noticed more wildflowers and fruit bushes growing. With the increase in insects and fruits on the island, more birds visit. Fireflies are once again spotted at night. There has also been an uptick in the production of the organic gardens that produce food for our restaurants. If Soneva Fushi, a big jungly island with lots of people, can go mosquito-free, then surely every other Maldivian island can too. In fact, we have already started implementing the new mosquito control methods at Soneva Jani in Nunu Atoll, which will hopefully become the second island in the Maldives to declare itself mosquito-free. This approach to pest control adopted at Soneva Fushi demonstrates that we can, island by island, atoll by atoll, rid the Maldives of the menace of mosquitoes.